Web scraping. Do you like doing it, or do you not? Most people probably won't because it's kind of boring, tedious, and hard. However, I know a way, and I'm going to show you how to make it not tedious, not boring, not hard, maybe fun. Right, in case you don't know what web scraping is, it's basically going to a website and being like, and slurping that information down. Normally, websites will give you an API to use this, but sometimes it's a bit too much of a hassle to use that, or they just don't have one. Um, think going to the news and scraping top 10 news stories, or in the case that we're going to do, we're going to demo it at some cryptocurrency prices. All these sites will have APIs that will do this better, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be doing web scraping. Okay, so we want this page. We want to scrape the currency price. So we want 32,000 that much. So normally how you would do this with web scraping is you'd like right click, inspect, blah, 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 find the element, you know, copy it, whatever, and, and then scrape it that way or manually scrape for whatever that is. Um, but we're not going to do that, so we're going to use a tool called Autoscraper. Autoscraper is a Python library, so you install it like this. Um, I've already installed it in this virtual environment that I have. So how Autoscraper works is it templates the page. Um, so we say, we want this number here, and then it will remember where this number is on the website, right? So now whenever we go to another one, it will get the same number, even though it's on a different page and probably has lots of different IDs that dynamically change and everything. What you do is you load up your auto scraper. So we'll call this getcoins.py. So you put the URL in that you want. So we want to scrape this page here, like that, yada yada. Uh, and then we put down a wanted list. So wanted list is it's basically what we want from the page, right? So I want this from the page. Uh, and do I want anything else? Let's just get the currency amount for now. Put it in this wanted list here. Uh, and then I tell it to go, basically. So you say scraper equals auto. It's an auto scraper. Uh, and then we build the scraper. We'll build URL wanted list. So to verify it, we rerun. We say, can we get the exact result from this page? Hopefully it matches this. Yeah, and that's what we do. And then we also want to save the scraper to coins scraper. Like that. So obviously this price will probably have changed. So quickly update that. Refresh. Bam, 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 bam. We run that. No module found named autos. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Huh. Oh. Right, need to print out the value. Okay, so it hasn't worked. Okay, there we go. So it's worked. We, we didn't include, include the print statement in. Okay, so what we've done now is that had generated this coin scraper uh, file, which is basically m remembers where we get this value from. I probably shouldn't have called that get coins. I'll, I'll move this to get coins to build coins. And now we make a file called get coins. So we import auto scraper. Uh, and then we run scraper equals auto scraper, and we do scraper.load, and then we go coins scraper like this, which is what I believe it was called. Uh, yep, so we have coin scraper now loaded. Now we can pass it some URLs. So let's do, let's write a simple function called that get coin value with, we pass the URL in, then we go print scraper dot get result exact URL. Okay, so then we go get point value and then we want let's do ETH. Let's check if ETH work. Let's check. Let's just Okay, so that gives us the price of ETH. Right. Let's make this a bit more nicer. I think this is insane, but I think okay, so that works, so I don't actually like that though. Um, it's a horrible way of doing it. Well, that looks like a dictionary. Okay, uh, let me just make this a bit nicer here. Oh, everyone wants Bitcoin, everyone wants Doge, everyone wants ETH, everyone wants BAT. What else do we want? XMR, there we go. There we go. So now we go for coin in coin in coins, get coin value. Uh, URL equals quote slash coin. I think this would work. Press D. Something like that. Oh. 
Okay, so that works. We made this nicer, and then we go like uh, value equal uh, coin value equals get coin. Jesus, my variables are long. Uh, URL. And then we go print. Um, so we want coin. So we print the coin name, and then we want the value. So coin value. Right. There we go. That should work. Don't need this anymore. You see Doge, ETH, bat, wow. Okay, done. So that's how you web scrape easily. So just to tell you what we did, we built our web scraper uh, using auto scraper, okay? It scans this page as a template and we tell it to extract this value here. We built that and it extracts that value and then it saves into this file, coin scraper. It saves where it's located on that page. And so any other page that's got the same layout, uh, so, that, so any other crypto page, and it will just go pull the same value from that page, okay? So you don't have to write one for each page, which you would with normal web scraping, possibly. So that's the template -y thing there. And then we, um, then we just, uh, then we just wrote a simple script to get and print the coins. Uh, you don't need to rely on any APIs, which I mean, you might want to. Um, it's probably better to rely on APIs, but here's just a simple way of showing how to get, build your own crypto scraper using auto scraper. A good thing about this actually is sometimes websites will actually change their layout. So like this will be over here and then it will break your web scraping, right? But all you do with this is you actually just run, rerun this script, change the wanted list to whatever the current price is and then you rerun it and it will rebuild it for you. So it will change this coin scraper thing and then this script will still work without any anyone touching it. In some future videos, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into an API. Really simple, quite fun and actually useful as well. Because you, you can obviously, you don't have to use cryptocurrency for this. You can make an API for a website that doesn't even have an API. I'll put the code in the description. Do whatever you want. Make this, you know, read from a file. Build tests around um, this value. So cron this and see if it returns the correct result and if it doesn't like alert you or something. If you want to extend it, that's what you could do. You know, we could cron get coins and have this displayed in... Um, our status bar, like our i3 status bar, we could cron this and display this, right? It would be cool. People normally use external APIs for that stuff, but we're using web scraping because we're insane. But we did it easily. Anyway, that's the video. Bunny shot. Peace.